the reason that I wanted to go to art school is just because I love art and I love everything about it and I love being able to look at something that's blank and create something beautiful and um, meaningful and share my ideas with other people. This is my sketchbook from first semester and it's got a portrait of me on it because I'm conceited. No, not really. Um, I just thought that it was appropriate to put a portrait of myself on it because the sketchbook is so personal and it is me and like they all come straight black like this and uh, you're going to art school so you certainly don't want to mix your sketchbook up with someone else's. I've lost my sketchbook before and it's really sad and unless someone's nice enough to bring it back to you then it's gone forever. <laughs> When you write in a sketchbook, you're writing down all your clever little like ideas and all your, you know, things that you really love and are really you and when you, you lose one, it's like losing a little piece of yourself and you know you're never going to get any of that back because each one of your sketchbook pages is like unique. I find myself like looking at the sketches that I've already made and kind of trying to decide if things that I've drawn can be applied to my project. I think I'll always have a sketchbook. Um, I think that sketchbooks are really, really important to have no matter who you are. Like I think that even writers and musicians should keep sketchbooks. Like they don't have to necessarily draw on them, but it's always a good idea to get out your ideas and your um, feelings and you know those sorts of things and. Everybody needs a place for that, an artist place for that, or sketchbooks. <laughs> a big part of going to art school is doing figure drawings, where you have a nude model come in and you draw from your life. It's really important to study the human anatomy if you're going to be successful at drawing or painting the human body or sculpting it. It's even uh, helpful to, no matter what you're doing in art, like if you're a photographer, it's important because you start to learn about the way light hits the form. A couple days we had a model not show up, so we drew from the students and it was interesting. We also went to the Cincinnati Ballet and we were able to um, have the privilege of watching them rehearse. It was really interesting and challenging to try and draw these people that are like doing spins and plies and just like constantly moving and trying to capture that movement. I think that my family seen that I, you know, have really uh, clung to art. Like it's always been very important in my life, even since I was very young, like five years old. I was drawing things and then never stopped. So um, my mother and my aunt have been very supportive and I made an oil painting of my mother and it's surrounded by broken shards from a mirror. Not one that I intentionally broke for the painting but one that I broke on accident one day and I um, put a key as a pendant on the painting and I gave my mom like a skull earring and then I played a song while people were viewing the painting and then I also had this fabric like the it's like a prom dress kind of fabric and it was like a black red and I um, made a floral shape and placed the painting inside of it and I sprayed perfume so that you could smell this like strong floral perfume and then you could hear this song and view the painting. I kind of wanted people to see my mother the way that I see her so they did and I could see that they did and um, it just, I don't know, it was really um, impactful for me to come to the conclusion that I can make art and it can, I can, you know, make people feel a certain way. I can evoke something for people and like have a connection with them and that was important for me and it was really cool.